Now, who are you? I am Britta Gustafson. I work for Jay on Cydia. I'm the community manager and user experience person. Very cool. And uh, who are you? <laughs> I am Jay Freeman, although uh, many people online, including possibly you originally, knew me as only Sork. I run Cydia, which is the alternative to the App Store on jailbroken phones. Very cool. And we were talking right before this talk. We were at the uh, mobile, mobile. Uh, what is this conference? Uh, mobile, um, yeah, mobile, mobile connections. connections. <laughs> <laughs> we were just on a panel about uh, mobile platforms. But before the talk, you were showing me all sorts of cool things about why to jailbreak your phone. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, the big thing is about just having the, the freedom to do things that are outside of the scope of an application. Yeah. So, as an example, um, an application is really... And jump in here if you know the one, too. Yeah. Well, so an application is really about an icon. So, like, I click on settings, it's an app. It opens, it's going to sit here for a second while it's trying to open. Eventually, when it does open, I will be able to close it, actually. Um, Interesting. I'll just close it. Okay. <laughs> but um, if you would like to be able to change the experience of something outside of the scope of one of these applications, um, you really have to go above and beyond what you can normally do. So five icons on the dock. Okay. Yeah. That's a simple one. Um, having this kind of cool animation. Ooh, right? It's kind of, kind of cool, but you know, it's still kind of a silly thing. Somebody yeah. calling me. Um, I could, for instance, um, bring up a, uh, a panel for where I can turn off uh, 3G quickly, or if I would like to um, you know, print on airplane mode so I don't get any more phone calls during the course of this, uh, this little demonstration. Yeah. Um, I can bring up a, a Twitter client just out of the status bar. Um, maybe I would like to be able to forward a voicemail message from somebody. So if I open up the phone application and click on my voicemail, I can click here and then forward the voicemail as an email attachment, um, which is something that a lot of people would like to be able to do in order to be able to share around uh, maybe a sales call that you got, um, something, something very like, practical and functional. Yeah, um, that's cool. Yeah, um, so there's, there's a, lot, a lot of little things like this that um, I think people find very valuable. Now, what's the downside of jailbreaking? Um, well, so a lot of people are then concerned that, well, if you jailbreak your phone, you won't be able to use the App Store anymore. That's not the case. So um, when you jailbreak your phone, it's everything that it used to be able to do, it still does, um, but now you have the added ability to be able to use Cydia in order to be able to browse through these things that are not apps. Okay. Um, the one thing you have to be careful about is that when you go to update your phone later to a new version of the firmware, you kind of need to make certain that there's a jailbreak available for that firmware before you update it. It's very simple. Just when it says, do you want to update right now, just say a little bit later, wait a few days, it's usually okay. Okay. And how do, how do you jailbreak? Because a lot of people haven't yet jailbroken their yes. phone. They don't even know where to start. Right. And so that's something that we're trying to work on is having a little more central information on, on how to do that process. Um, typically, there's a tool from one of a generally small number of people. Um, right now, I would recommend using Red Snow, um, R-E-D-S-N-0-W. Um, but uh, these tools are typically fairly simple. Um, sometimes they're as easy as a single button. Sometimes they require you to hold a few buttons um, on your phone. Actually, you can see my icons are now all floating around by accident because I was shaking my phone up too much. Um, but if you hold <laughs> down um, these two buttons for 10 seconds and then let go of just this one, it will do the, it'll go into a mode where you can do a lot of things to it and the tool will walk you through that process. Okay. And that, that shows some of the, you know, oh man, I don't know if I want my phone to look really weird you yeah, know, so because I, I did something wrong. I, I, I find this really fun. This is, a, this is one called grab a board that causes all of your icons to kind of jingle around and you can, you can toss them around. And yeah. I, so it's, it's something where I actually, I always get a kick out of when I look down at my phone and I realize, oh, I guess I tossed it on the table too hard and now all my icons are all a jumble. So. How about you? What do you like about your jailbroken phone? The one I show off first is always this little calendar I have on my lock screen so that I don't forget my upcoming meetings or events. I mean, these are all oh, boring. Um, and my slide to unlock has been changed to a bunch of Unicode arrows because I really like Unicode for no good reason. Um, I also have a lot of custom icons. So I like customizing my phone. Yeah. And like my keyboard's black instead of white. It's pretty oh. cool. Yeah. Uh, Very cool. Yeah. And where, where do you learn about, once you jailbreak your phone, where do you find all these little apps and things and utilities um, to do different things? Yeah. So you can find all of that out by opening up Cydia. Um, Cydia is um, trying to help you find all of the stuff that's interesting. So the first comment to make is, is that when you open up Cydia, all the stuff is in there. Um, but one of the things that we're trying to do is figure out how to kind of percolate the really awesome stuff to the top. And that's one of the things that Britt is coming on board in order to help with. She just got hired on about a month, month and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So you're the guinea pig that has to try all, all the apps, right? Yeah. The <laughs> wonderful thing is I've installed hundreds of these themes and extensions, and my phone is still perfectly stable. Like, I've really rarely had any problems, which means it actually works. Because I install all sorts of crazy stuff to figure out what the best. Very cool. Where do we learn more about Cydia? Uh, you can Google Cydia. That's the best right now because they're working on... How do you spell that? C-Y-D-I-A. Very cool. And are you guys on Twitter as well? Well, I know you are. Yes, I am. Sarik, right? Mm -hmm. S-A-U-R-I-K. That is correct. I've been following you for years. 
And how about you? I will be tweeting eventually, but I'm not yet. Okay. Like, cool. Yes. <laughs> so counterculture. Um, and She's then, on Twitter. She's just I a am private on account. Twitter. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Private account. Oh, so private. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to beg. <laughs> <laughs> and where do I find more about your company and, and uh, stuff like that? Um, so we actually don't have a website that has a lot of good information about Sork IT itself. Um, and we're a very small group. I mean, it's um, the company is really just me and Britta right now. We've got another couple people who are doing more. Um, Things that aren't even re directly related to CDS. So. Very cool. So follow your Twitter account and anything. Right you now, do, it's the best thing to do. About. Very cool. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.